What's up guys, it's Grimzag here from Grimzag Does Painting with a tutorial for you today. But we're going to be doing a quick way of doing armour plates, rusted armour plates on your vehicles or terrain. I've used this technique on bases, terrain, scenic displays, everything from rusty fence posts to destroyed vehicles. It works really well, it's really easy, really quick. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. All the paints I'm going to be using today are water-based acrylics, just purely for ease of use. If I'm going to be using anything other than that, I'll always try and let you guys know. Quick list of things you're going to need for this tutorial. You're going to want your pre-primed model, doesn't matter which colour you've primed it. Mine, for the sake of argument, is going to be white this time around, because I'm going to be using a lot of bright colours later. Uh, as far as the paints go, I'm not going to say you need to use specific brands. As long as you've got the right rough colour, then you'll be fine. You're going to want a couple of reddish brown tones, uh, aim for sort of a terracotta colour. Then you're going to want some orange colours, I've, I've got two different types of orange for mine. Thirdly, you're going to want a dark silver colour, so sort of a chainmail or gunmetal colour, it doesn't, it doesn't matter as long as it's a dark silver. Then last but not least, you're going to want a brown wash. Agrix Earthshade from Citadel would work quite well for this. I've used Vallejo Model Wash Dark Brown, but again, whichever brand you find works well for you. So here's my white prime model. I've already done a couple of the plates in gunmetal just to bring them out a bit more. Um, you're going to take your red brown paint, thin it to about the consistency of milk, and just patch it over the entire model. Don't worry if you get it on some of the pre painted uh, gunmetal plates. You're going to want some variants anyway. Um, it's better if it's thin so you don't show the brush strokes. The next step, taking the gun metal and just dry brushing it on the, loosely dry brushing it on the edges of some of the plates to give a chipping effect. You don't need to be super neat with that step, with any of these steps actually, because rust is just a bit more random by nature. And then you're going to take your orange paints and with by overloading a stippling brush, uh, again, thin your paint and just add some patches to really bright orange rust um, onto the model. That's going to look a little bit harsh once it's dry. Don't worry about that right now because the next step, which is using this dark brown wash, will dull that down uh, wonderfully. So you're going to coat the entire model. Uh, the brown wash will tie in all of the orange and red tones that you've had in the previous effects as well as uh, shading all of the rivets and giving an oily grimy effect to all your bare metal plates. That's pretty much your final step. Once that's dry you should have a model that looks like it's been sat out in the weather for a couple of decades at least. Uh, let's see if I can get some better. There we go. That's some nice orange up here. And again it's not too harsh, not too um, ridiculous. So with that done I will uh, see you next time and show you what to do next. So happy painting and have a good one.